just a point of note and also to remind myself, I am pretty sure we decided that the radiation thing you would... It's kind of like solve essentially, because uh, when you guys this notice that Vale has, is having a hair problem, uh, Silas uh, can just yes. cast a spell. He does a restoration to me. Yeah. I went over to him and I was like, hey, I don't feel so good. <laughs> and he was Deal. like, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with the poisoned condition. Okay, just wait until I show you the loot handout. It's alright, I sound tired. I just played a tennis match with in the morning. Ugh. And I feel it's a good pain because of physical exercise is nice, but still pain. <laughs> and just like being slightly exhausted. So I might be more chaotic and slow than usual. But I'll try not to. It's okay. Yay, yay, yay. Interesting. JP, I need your opinions. Yay. I can choose another blood curse, and I'm choosing between two right now. One huh. that gives the creature disadvantage on strength or dexterity checks, and they take damage if they make more than one attack during their turn. Uh, that lasts for a turn, but I can amplify it to, for it to last a minute, uh, which is really good. So I can basically make it so that we could grapple someone and just like huh. fuck them up, you know? Um, the other one is I can nullify resistances. Nullify resistances? Yeah, so if they're invulnerable to damage, they're instead only resistant. Or if they're resistant, they are nullified. We're, we're level 6, right? Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, with level 6, I'm gonna be able to make... I think someone's, like, one person's weapon ha do radiant damage. Which is probably gonna okay. be, um... Faster. Uh, I mean, that's your call. Oh, it's an option. Uh, on the other hand, I would consider granting that radiant weapon to someone that cannot get radiant on their own. Like, I know Pastor has radiant damage sources. Sure, his weapon by default is not one, but I'm absolutely sure he has at least one spell uh, that deals. Uh, uh, that Use my hands damage. radiant damage. <laughs> I don't think I can give your claws radiant damage. That's you can thing. if I you will... give my if you give my unarmed strength. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. What if I get like oh, uh, what um... are they called? Um, what are they freaking called? Uh, knuckle bruisers, like the little like you. Know... <laughs> can you use them on your werewolf form? <laughs> Depending how it's written, so I remember that player is dropped from the game before you guys came in, but um, I remember someone asking me about the rule clarification for Paladins and Smites, and he specifically asked like, if I allowed for him to smite evil with unarmed attack. And I digged with into it, punch. By by the rules, by the written rules, it does not, but I digged into it and apparently it wasn't really like a mechanical decision, but more fluff one. And at that time, my call was to, hey, I think that's a cool idea. And if this wasn't like a mechanical choice, it doesn't sound too freaking broken. For me, I might be wrong, but for me, it didn't sound mm -hmm. too broken. So I decided, sure, we want to go Paladin who smites with like freaking punches. Sure, go for it. Cavern Brawler Paladin, that sounds great. I will 100% on that shit. Also, it says that to use the radiant, we the radiant weapon thing, I need a simple or martial weapon. My claws count as simple weapons with which I'm proficient. But technically, you don't have them. Uh, I don't know. Like, okay, here's the thing. Obviously, like, I mean, if all else fails, yeah. I can just hold a weapon in my. Hand. <laughs> I, I guess. I can just <laughs> use my hand. To... I'm just, I'm just thinking the, because it was, obviously Samal has might, so that's good, right? 
Mm-hmm. Pastor, oh, it's pastor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Robert mm-hmm. is a cleric, right? He got shit. So you got fire and you got a lot of other things that help you do damage to a dead already, right? So it was going to be between me and pastor for a bit, but then I realized I'm going to use, like I could other use a holy pistol, <laughs> a holy gun. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I could get a radiant gun if I find one or if I make one. Um, or I could give it to to you, but I don't know. Also, hello, Samal. Welcome. Well. Not sure when Derp is gonna come, so I'm just gonna show you one handout. In hindsight, perhaps I should have thought about it a little bit earlier so you could have time to think about this. We'll see how the situation, the session develops. I am, I wasn't exactly planning on having any encounters. Uh, because, yeah, let's just say there's a choosable, choose your own loot type of deal in this situation and obviously this is not something you have to pick right now you just can you know have that in the back of your head and if something comes up you can decide it love me a potion of heroism shit slaps yeah bless in a bottle Indeed. Really want that potion of fire giant strength. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you might. Just beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> I have a question, DM question. Yes. If I wanted to get a gun. Will I buy it, or would I have to make it? I recall... Ooh, that's really good. Okay, like, overall, like, we did decide that there are firearms. Uh... <sighs> is there any specific model you're thinking, or rather, is this, like... Something like some type of like very rare item or not really. No, I like just just a gun, <laughs> like a flintlock pistol or like just 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 gun. Um, so what I mean, mm-hmm. what I was trying to do is maybe I can put the radiant enchantment on that one, so I can have like a again a holy gun, <laughs> which will work very well with my already holy water bullets. <laughs> I will be willing to be like, hey, master, teach me how to make this, and me spending like a while just trying to build it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be fine with that because I had to like remind myself that the way I set up the economy is that actually, for the day, the way I sort of set, set rewards for uh, you guys is that we don't really operate on money that much. Uh, so this would be like more of a case of like you know fluff plot enablers like Mm -hmm. you know like for example going to your master and master teach me how to gun (laughs) (laughs) teach me the ways of gun oh I'm looking at magic items and I just realized I could get Vale uh, an earring of message (laughs) <laughs> His ears pierced. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick by what I said. Is that as long as it's called common or a common, mm-hmm. I'm fine with it. Obviously, there are some items that were introduced with specific books, like specific setting books. So I'm still fine with them. We will just have to. Like, I would greatly appreciate if you, like, come up. You can come up with, like, some, you know. Refluff? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. 
basically like a way. Lore, yeah, basically so. a way to fit this item because obviously. Oh my god, I cannot think of the example of the top of my head, but I'm sure like you'll find something mm -hmm. that wouldn't make sense normally for this word, but we can just adjust. Uh, oh god. I can just imagine, um... <laughs> I can just imagine my instructor being like, This has been handed down in my family for generations. If you don't wear it, it is dishonored. <laughs> you must wear this. <laughs> That's interesting. <sighs> I think the episode is gonna be slightly late, so I'm gonna say. <sighs> Willing to give him like five, six more minutes. I mean, obviously, from the loot, as you guys are looking at this, you can, you know, start thinking about the items you will be getting. Um, also, if there's, like, really something you want to take, just, you know, take it, I guess. Because as much Pastor does some frontline fighting, he's obviously not built for... Uh, for that, like, that's not his specialty, so... I thought it was funny when he was like, yeah, I got a freaking halberd, and I was like, this little guy? This little twig man? <laughs> He's got a halberd? Alright. Damn. I imagine him saying, so you are talking much shit for someone within crusading distance. <laughs> yeah. Shut thy pig in mouth. <laughs> Pulls out AK-47. <laughs> uh, I can do that. <laughs> I just need a lot of gold. I have so many freaking medieval memes in my phone. Seen it. Also, just in case, and to make this absolutely uh, clear, and uh, the point of insight thingy, like this is a question that the entire party needs to agree on this, or like, like you know, the majority. Mm -hmm. Or you can just, you know, ignore it and not spend it. I have an important question for you. Do you use Bagman from Ravenloft? Uh, P -p 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 Man who loses sight all the bags of holding. I, I think <laughs> I recall what that is, yes. Because uh, that's going to determine whether or not I get uh -huh. one. <laughs> mm. On one hand, it's an interesting idea. On the other... Mm. Considering this... Before I I do use him in all of my campaigns. <laughs> so. It's really funny so far. I haven't died. Yet. Considering the Yet. state <laughs> of the world. Mm. Mm. I need to check, check something. Because it would make sense. With all the cryptid things that we've been seeing. want to see my take on that guy I would love that I love Bagman Let's see if this will copy correctly Roll 
Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna free. Damn, son. Players may have released <laughs> enough deities in my world that caused certain entities to have max HP. Huh. I love that he has alien mind. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, he can plane shift so <laughs> Imagine just rolling on the table of planes after they fail a con save and sending someone to the plane of fire. Oh. oh. Hello, oh. get fucking. Noise. <laughs> hey there. Oh, Sorry about that. Um. That's fine. We didn't really start properly. I just showed the loot handout to the players, and they're like, I'm going over stuff. Okay. What they want to take. Uh, as for Bugman, the more I think about it, yeah, I might give it my own spin. Considering the okay. entire shadow yeah, spawn cool. spawning thingy, the pocket dimension and whatnot. Right, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just given a notice that I had to do something real quick. You're okay. Okay, just in case, I'm gonna show up the end out one more time. And I already said it once to uh, Kali and JP, but I'm gonna mention to you that uh, session might be slightly more slower and chaotic than usual. I am slightly tired. I had a tennis match in the morning and I feel the effects. Um, obviously, if you don't have like an idea right this uh, moment, it's completely fine. You can just you know DUI bit for uh, later, or you know literally just come up with the ideas. The combat will be uh, happening. That's for the good. Uh, so one common and one uncommon, right? Yes. Okay, okay, I read it right. <laughs> you have given me great power. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, interesting. I try to to varying degrees of success, if I throw bad shit at the players and they survive, I try to give them good shit in return. Understandable. I appreciate it. I mean, honestly, I decided partially because I didn't want to think too hard, but mostly because I thought I will not know the best what the players will want for their characters. I'm just gonna give the freedom to players to pick what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, speaking of technical aspects, uh, just gonna handle this pretty quickly because I'm pretty sure this won't be an issue in general, considering the spells that Silas might have. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure remind me some, but I don't believe Silas is immune to diseases. No, I'm a I'm a human. No, I'm a, yeah, no wait. Paladin. Well, half elf. Paladins yeah. are. Paladins are. Paladin. I'm a, I'm a paladin too. Oh, never mind. Baby paladin. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm mainly a bard. <laughs> uh, still, I mean, okay. 
<coughs> so, uh, those drowned aesthetics, they did have something called Blue Rat that you could have contracted, and I do remember that you uh, definitely got it. And you would like figure out how this uh, works, uh, and I'm pretty sure you probably have something to deal with that. I'm just gonna show the handout. And uh, Silas would know that something's wrong when, um, after, just quickly roll that, yeah, after two hours, after the encounter was done, uh, that uh, boils manifested on, uh, well, his face or around so. I would say, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you pr probably have something that can treat you of that disease. Well, just to be clear, these are just boils. They uh, take your constitution by and they'll yeah. deal damage. Yeah. I mean, hold on, let's just. Yeah, a grotesque blue boils on your face and back. I don't think you would know that. <laughs> so he's going to take it as just. Whatever. Uh, yeah, then you would be hit by a fever, tingling in the extremities. Uh... Oh, and then, yeah, you have been doing like DC 12 constitution saving throw. Oh, God. Fuck my oh, okay. shoulder hurts. Oof. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a weird allergy after long rest. Eh, it was nothing. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Just walks it <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, out of curiosity, would have been like. Yeah, just walks it off. He's a hardy fellow. Well, actually, no, I only have 51 HP. Oh. <laughs> we have what? no tank. We have werewolf as the only tank. I'm not a fucking tank, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, probably won't right matter because uh, I'm gonna say, like, right now, technically we are still in the scene, but if you guys want, uh, you can click long rest button because I imagine you will have time to rest and recuperate from the issues of the thing. Because, yeah, at the end of the combat, uh, you know, when the adrenaline slows down and immediate danger has passed, the temporary hit points gained from succeeding at the gamble, they would go away. Okay, okay. But yeah. That's the exactly adrenaline like. runs off. Both yeah. of us immediately collapse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of like heavy, exhausted breathing. You are, you, do, you are not mechanically exhausted, but you know what I mean. 1 HP. <laughs> Uh, wait, where's the long rest again? Mm. Take a rest. Oh, I found it. Rest. Yay! Okay. Oh my god, you know what would be fucked up? I got my earring of message from Sasha's house, I just like found it on the ground and picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch doing shit from my house. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to think of a reason behind it. Worse. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh... Yeah, obviously, I'm completely fine and happy if you come up like with alternative explanations why these items like wind up in your possession right now. Uh, but yeah, partially fluff is that when you defeat, beat back the darkness because the creatures of the dark devoured so fucking much, you're like uh, by ripping the way, I did it not back see up. See the uh, root table? Could I? Uh, see that? Hold on, I thought should have showed. Oh, players, do you see it now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Also, I have a question. Uh, yes. Just so that I can get like some loot tie or lore tie-ins to this loot. Mm. Uh, so the I believe it's a bronze orc who runs the blacksmith, right? Yeah, we established that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he covered in tattoos by any chance? <laughs> uh. I don't believe I ever specified that uh, detail. If you want, he can. I'd like, he can now. I'd like that because I want to get an Eldritch Claw tattoo. So. Okay. I'd like that. That'd be cool. Okay. Mainly the old, tattoo section. The old Smith is covered in tattoos or uh, nose tattoos, I guess, as well. <laughs> Either that or, like, one of his surviving family members does, and that gave them to him. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Either I'm... Way. I'm fine with that. So, while that's done, I think what I would like to do, just for a bit of a fluff, mm -hmm. um, can I change my uncommon, like, not get an uncommon and just change it? Like, I just spend a lot of time just making gun. <laughs> I work with Master to make gun. And I can half pay for it and half of it be like the uncommon that I create. Not uncommon, sorry, my uh, common that I create. I mean... Does that make sense? Okay. If that's what you want. Sure. Yeah. And probably because it's really no skin off my back. If for whatever reason you... There is... N you do not find anything in uncommon category that tickles you fancy and you said you want to take two common items I'm fine with that as well however that doesn't work the opposite way you cannot take two uncommon items <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay. had a vermin what is that yeah it's basically <laughs> like the pied piper like rat hat uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I see it's so good yeah it's great if you like rats it's great. <laughs> I don't think Pastor would use that though. Why not? He doesn't like rats. <laughs> Illuminator's tattoo. Oh, that one's good for um, thieves. Uh, someone give me a cool name for my new m magic gun. Arbiter. Okay, that's acceptable. Something Arcanus else? Eye. Hmm. I don't think that makes sense for a gun. It's ah. your, it's your, it's your, what you're looking at, man. You're the Arcanist. Hmm. But I'll be right. Okay. What else? Uh, by the way, my small suggestion, uh, because you can definitely look at the items, because everyone gets an item, magical items. Uh, I mean, not on your time, but like, it's not as uh, pressing. If we can just like quickly go through like the loot that has to be spread around. So I'm gonna imagine no one's gonna be against uh, Veil vale taking that fire giant strength. Nope. Because I have like yeah. creatures. Dips. Okay, yes. so Veil vale definitely gets uh, definitely gets that. Uh, And other takers from the uh, for the other stuff like elixirs of health, potion of heroism, oil of sharpness. Um, I don't know. I mean, I will be okay with taking the elixir of health since I'm gonna be heal bot for a bit if I if we ever need to. Probably Silas should get Oil of Sharpness. I was gonna say, I'm fine with passing, whatever. No, you get it. You're getting this. No, I'm, I'm not a combat person, though. I've, I've kind of proven that. <laughs> we can't all not be combat people, and I feel bad taking everything. I am a combat people. Can I sharpen my gun? <laughs> yeah, plus I don't believe I can apply an Oil of Sharpen Sharpness to the claws. Gun. So, really, 
literally anyone who uses a bladed weapon would it would be better on them. So. Well, this is this is the this is the funny part. You want to know mm-hmm. what my plus one weapon is? Hmm. Club. It's a club. Shit. <laughs> you got a glaive, though, Pastor. Pastor yeah. does have a glaive. Oh, it's technically supposed to be a evening star. Mm. Oh, so you can sharpen that's, the spikes. <laughs> that's okay. Spike. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Wait, is it a glaive and a like an evening star notably different in design? Yes. yes. Okay. One is bludgeoning. One is not bludgeoning. <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say, isn't a glaive like a halberd? Okay, well yes, then. Yes, it is. It's. <laughs> this is funny. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, prosthetic limb. I'll just get a third arm. Oh, Shadow, my God. would you mind third if, uh, since the oil of sharpening lasts an hour and my werewolf form lasts an hour, could I <laughs> put in a way, just dip my little fingy? <laughs> <laughs> manicure, manicure oil. I thought of the exact same thing. And you know what? Fuck it. Just for the image alone, yeah. Why not? Okay, cool. No, oh my God. I just, like, I just like, now. it's like whenever you get a manicure and you have to dip your nails in like the cold water to like uh, seal them, it's just him dipping it in like a tiny bladed liquid. <laughs> to, like, make giving me new information. Stuff. I didn't know you had to dip your fingers in. Shit. Yeah, for for gel nail polish, you had to dip it in in cool like, water oh. to seal it. Oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Learning. Uh, just to make sure, does uh, Vale takes both of them or one for Vale, one for? Okay. Okay. I'm the only male person. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize this, uh, so... Yeah. yeah. But... I mean, how much does I, Vale weigh? Um... I don't know. <laughs> he is very strong, but he has, n- l- like, ten constitution. Okay. So, he... I think he would be, like, all bulk, no fat. <laughs> and so... So, uh, I don't know. might approach them later. You'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I see sort of health, both of them. Uh, Sasa takes them. I thought. I heard mm. right, or. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sasa took it, and potions of heroism. I thought. I heard, I think, uh, Vale said at, that he, he would take at least one. Or... I will take one, I guess, if everyone. I feel bad taking everything. <laughs> Does anybody else it's want nice. them first? Does anyone else want them first? Want what? <laughs> Literally anyone. A bottle of hero- heroism. What it does is it gives you temp HP and it also gives you the effects of bless for an hour. Maybe... S- Honestly, there's Sasa or... I think Sasa just because you have... Does, does the it's bless for effect... anything... No, does it affect Sasa's cannon? Yes. I and believe. that would make more sense, right? Because she yeah. has more rolls. Yeah. yeah. But then there's like two of them, so I don't know if we want to just give her both, which would be fine. Yeah. She's also kind of like baby, Let's so temp HP yeah, would be nice. Yeah. 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 would be good. You're right. <laughs> okay. okay. So, kind of baby. One second. Yeah, I have to add everything. How is your HP still only 24 at level 6? I haven't rolled for this level. I haven't okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 I haven't rolled for this level. <laughs> So it was two potions of heroism. Uh, yes. yes, indeed. And what was before that? Uh, two elixirs of health. So I'm again. Ah, I cannot here. promise that. Yeah, the combat you might not have at all. It's fine. I'll add them here. Sadly. Let's see. I just want to know how much HP you'll definitely have. Honestly, I, I might think like for next time I'm just gonna say that yeah, every PC gets like one potion of your own choosing. Mm-hmm. Potion of fly. Goodbye. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> right. I have I have bad news, a good oh. news slash good oh. bad. So. I just realized for raiding weapon I read incorrectly, and it actually just. 
I just create light. That's all the radiant weapon does. It does not do radiant damage. Hmm. What? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> it does force damage, I'm guessing. No, it doesn't do damage at all. It just makes... <laughs> it just gives me a 30-foot radius of dim light. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> every time as a reaction, every time I get attacked, I can uh, blind enemies around me. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, well, the enemy that attacks me. So it's also, like, slightly defensive, and it gives me a plus one, but it's still kind of shitty. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, uh, you know. So I'm going to change it, and I'm going to give... Uh, Wait. Wait. Ooh, okay, Pastor. I have a question. Yes. Do you want to keep enemies away from you? Yes or no? No, I do. don't think. Wait. Unless, like, we can keep them out of just the five uh, foot radius, because I do have a weapon that can reach two squares. Mm, okay. I'm gonna just see if this the macro will works. Give you... <laughs> don't worry about it, I'm not actually hitting her, I'm just testing my macro. I'll <laughs> 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 give you. Uh, your shield, I can make it a repulsion shield. Ooh. You can push enemies 15 feet away. How far is 15 feet again? Three squares. Three squares. Ah, okay. Or I could give um I could give Veil a returning weapon. But it's only to one of the mm. hatchets. How often does Veil throw stuff? Whenever I'm not in my werewolf form pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Which true. is almost nothing. Which is almost always. <laughs> okay, I I'll just get this other thing then. It's fine. Okay. Alright, I got it. We got it. We're good. I have so many magic items, holy shit. An artificer, this, of course. Yeah, this is the first time light. I played artificer. <laughs> That's kind of your oh, charm, yeah. my man. Yeah. yeah, but I don't have this loss for it yet. You don't have what, sir? Uh, attunement to more items yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like three and a half edition where it's like you can wear eleven things. It's like not attunement slots, just like equipment slots. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um uh, unless you want to delay a little bit, you can still like think about stuff in the background regarding the loot, but uh, mm -hmm. other than that, I think I would be starting again slowly with a short recap that we have just survived a harrowing ordeal. And while the map doesn't show it, um, essentially the middle of Sasa's and Hero's house, the the mansion of the Maple family, once renowned scientist, the middle of it is pretty much fucked and warped due to the primordial energies clashing. And yeah, the map is not just that updated, but as I wrote, that, that tree that tree is full bar, it's gone. And obviously the area around it also has signs of damage and uh, warped. You had some tense standoff with Custodian Sidarin and Protector Sarif, but situation has been de-escalated for now. Uh, Kiro has been left in your care once again, and mm -hmm. they have left, and you just still feeling that exhaustion and like uh, the tension dropping from you. Uh, I do have some ideas, but right now I think what I'm gonna do is that we'll unpause and we're gonna pick off where we left. As the enemies yep. has fled and you are all alone standing in front of the partially damaged uh, house. The 
Sin is yours. Maybe I was just going to say, I need to go rest and speak to my mentor. I hope all of you will be safe until we see each other again. That was nuts. <laughs> it looks at horribly irradiated scarred self who had previously one HP. Yeah. <laughs> Someone? Uh, I I my <laughs> my Chrome crashed. One second. Oh, the moment oh. you said that, my Chrome just closed. Uh, okay. Uh, one thing, because okay. otherwise I'm gonna fucking forget. Um, didn't mention it at the session itself, but it's gonna be a small uh retcon. So I'm gonna throw it to a player in case you want to use it. So, uh, at the time, due to the situation, uh, Sasa didn't really pay too much attention to this, but she will recall that the the fallen Asimar being that intruded upon her home uh, when he was threatening her and Kiro when he was gathering magical power, there was a symbol, a sigil of some kind, also glowing in the middle of his uh, chest. Yusasa would have absolutely no idea what that symbol uh, means. My mm -hmm. only question is, would you share that specific bit of information? Yeah, so at this point, after everyone like, said a little bit, uh, Sasa is gonna try to, not like loudly, but a bit more quietly, just explain to everyone like everything that happened, including about the um, the diary on her bag of holding right now, uh, and kind of just like she will be like with her arm over Kiro, just kind of holding himself herself, sorry, because she's just really hurt, um, and she would ju yeah just explain everything. Including the symbol. The weird symbol. Pastor! Uh. When Sasa mentions the symbol and describes it to you, uh, this will be a matter of a role, but this will be like shaking your memory, so to speak. Right. Which I believe... Uh... Straight int? Uh, history. Maybe? Yeah, this would fall under history. For just master. Uh, <laughs> yes, because this is all. This is regarding him. Mm. Eleven. Oh boy. Eleven. Eleven. Something. Tears. You have this feeling, however the Warforge can feel it, like you should know something, like this is familiar to you. But you cannot know details come forth to the forefront of your mechanical mind. But there are actually one emotion when like you, you you cannot do not know for sure because again you do not recall any specific details but thinking about that symbol there's a very brief spark of anger that disappears as soon as it appears but even with 11 you do not know many details, but you have that gut feeling that maybe, just maybe, that being might be connected to your home. And we both know what I what I mean when I say home. Yes. For a little bit, uh, Pastor's 
eyes will darken. That will be all for now. Oh no, he's blue screening. <laughs> sorry, what? I couldn't. <laughs> sorry, no. I couldn't. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Error four four. Oh no, he's crashed. Okay, uh, that's what I wanted to throw in. You can, like, mm. if anyone else wants to throw anything additional to hearing Sasa's revelations. Hmm. I think Vale at this point is very checked out mentally. Mm. <laughs> so Sasa he's plays like... the max startup sound. <laughs> So he's like absorbing all this information, but he's like, I can't process this until like I need sleep. <laughs> I need to rest. Understood. Okay. Mm. So as I imagine the rest of the party will be making their leave towards respective homes. Uh, Kiro will look at Sasa and very shyly almost like she's feeling bad and unworthy just asking it just not looking between you and deeper into the house at the destruction hey i i'm sorry to be a mother but uh do you think if i could Stay with you at your place for a for a while. Sasa kind of just gives her like a, a small smile and just kind of nod, like, "Yeah, I was gonna ask you the same, anyways." And she would like try to hold herself up and said, "Let's go. We should go sleep now." Uh, she uh, like holding back. Uh, tears of gratefulness. Thanks, sister. <laughs> and yeah, basically, mo mostly her helping you, be keeping up straight, you will be returning to your homes. Leaving yes. the Maples family home back behind you. Word of the right, like, in rope antidote is an uncommon. <laughs> So it's not that easy. <laughs> I, I know, but it's it's, not that easy. I just find it really funny that it's an uncommon. <laughs> oh, hold on. X, uh... Amulet of the Drunkard. <laughs> Regain hit die when you dr oh. Wait a second. Huh. Amulet of the Drunkard could actually be decent if you combine it with an alchemy dr uh, jug. Because mm. that can just straight up make alcohol. Every, but is it good alcohol? Oh, it says it can do um, beer, wine, and uh, ale. I just Man. imagine it's the shittiest quality of all of them. <laughs> well, even then, it's like, what are we going to do with it? We can't sell it. Yeah. But it's just, just like a makeshift healing potion. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you combine it with the, uh, Drunkard's amulet. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. uh... Uh, go ahead, JP. I think you wanted to ask something. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's okay. I was just gonna ask... Eh, yeah, go, go for it. ...something. Does this work? Nope. Still not letting me roll. Oh wait, let me check that. 
Do you have to maybe target something? Um. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see your. Let me. I'm gonna click on your character sheet, and I might be able to solve yeah. this for you. Because question, what like, I... what you are using is effectively a spell. Because if it's a spell, the sheet might give you an error because you do not have like a spell slot. Boom. Ah, oh, there we go. It let me roll now. Okay. Okay, it's not. Uh, I was testing if it was doing the same thing as the other day, but it's not. Here, look at the name of my gun. I just can't edit it. That's so weird. Actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think you have permission to edit it. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, I figured it out. I figured it out. Never mind. We're good. Okay. Also, for reference, what that is is that, do you know how like laser sights work on guns? Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. So it's it's my wand taped under my gun. Uh, with like, like a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there uh, go. So That's it's just a jury rigged uh, marker. Yes. That's pretty good. So now I have my one and my gun. <laughs> That's an awesome image. Wand. <laughs> like a guy wearing shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a gun, right. but also a wand. A wand. It's a gun. <laughs> oh god. And it's just a fucking gun that casts prestidigitation. <laughs> trying to find a picture of something like that. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, just go back home with uh, Carol. Um, and just kind of make sure, just like fortify everything. <laughs> We move our beds, so like we move the chairs, and we just like go in the corner and just sleep in the corner. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to mention that uh, obviously there will be knockoff effects and repercussions from what happened at the Maple House and with that tree's destruction. Uh, however, in the immediate aftermath, like let's say within two pulses after the battle, um, there will be no immediate crisis coming to your attention, so... Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm essentially I'm just giving like a window of opportunity for you guys, like if you want to like have a moment of peace and calm and like do your scene. Uh, now you can absolutely do that. Alright. Who wants to go first? I guess it will be me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so for the first day after I get like ready and stuff, Sasa is just gonna spend it the entire time working on, on like master. I have this idea in mind. Teach me, <laughs> and just making a gun. Just makes gun, and then deciding that you know what. This sounds like a good idea, and she's gonna tape the gun on top of the the tape the wand on top of the gun, and this is her new like weapon. Uh, I'm obviously gonna tell my my master like everything that happened. Like, hey, this happened at my house. We almost died. Yay! Uh, and after I'm done with that, I'm gonna try to go visit Bell and be like, Bell, I got gun. I don't know. I don't know what Bell he will like only gun. comment. Like, do not maybe do too much of a scene if you don't want, but he will definitely comment that. You know, Lass, uh, I'm happy for your burst of imagination and creativity, but I would have definitely preferred if you uh, didn't brush with death for them to have it. Fucking hell, he would say like... Hold on, I need to like rephrase that, that sentence in English. Uh, but I would have been much happier if you didn't have to brush with death to get those bursts of creativity. That's the general <laughs> gist of what he's saying. Yeah. She will she she will kinda just like go to argue and then realize like, no, he's right, it only usually happens when I'm about to die. <laughs> so she will just like be like silent for a little bit and she will just say Well we try to survive somehow, right? This is the best I can do, but at least I don't know. I... It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. And she's just gonna angrily keep working. 
<laughs> never, never claimed it was your fault, lass. Uh, we're facing the, uh, we're facing death, uh, every pulse, I guess. But uh, I know you, I know you will keep your your head on your shoulders, and I hope you'll stick with friends that will, well, stick out their heads for you too. But yeah, he tries to be a supportive mentor. But yeah, we can go with the snowball effect and uh, like. So my question is, Sasa tries to go look for Vale. Does is she able to find Vale, or not really? Am I able to find Vale? Well, I assume this is after you've been working on your gun for a while, so I suppose yes. I should probably do my scene. Um, he's going to go back to the mm -hmm. mansion. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna ask if uh, Forenzia is available to speak. Fail, my boy. I am. What brings you? He'll just sort of sigh. You can see that she, he's obviously like exhausted, but he has mm -hmm. like something on his mind. And he's just gonna kind of sit. Uh, near her, and he's gonna say, Have you ever had someone from our order, like, run off? Fuck, I didn't give her deception. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> She looks at you, there's a moment of silence, with blank face, mm -hmm. and she <clears throat> instead says, Hey, my boy, is this the question you want to answer me? Perhaps you wish to rephrase it? He'll lean back a little bit and sort of like narrow his eyes and say, all right, I'll rephrase it. What's the name of the werewolf that you know is in this town and attacking everybody? Because he knows your name. Uh, I need point of clarification because fucking hell, I'll probably forgot uh, DM to player. Mm. Uh, ditch. <laughs> Like, was there a scene where Vale, like, basically briefed Varenzia that there is, like, a freaking another werewolf in the city that's causing yeah. trouble? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, okay. When I first came back, mm -hmm. and I was like, there's an actual werewolf, like, going mm -hmm. around and doing shit. He would have told okay, her about okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I need to, to double... Sure, okay, so double check to make sure that she wouldn't treat this as... Yeah, because like, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, fuck, I can't speak. Okay. So, uh, this hair mask of impressiveness will crack slightly. Uh, uh, if you want, you can roll inside. I will do so. Okay. <clears throat> With a 16, you see a couple of emotions flash through her eyes and body language. Uh, a little bit of regret, uh, shame, uh, and a little bit of resignation. Or perhaps mm -hmm. realization that Maybe saying something or not saying something in this case, maybe it was a mistake that could cause damage, or maybe not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I need to ask another thing. Uh, 
because to be fair, I haven't really thought of a name so far. Uh, do you have an idea for the name of your nemesis, or do you want me to mm. think of something? Suitable, I guess. I think it'd be better for you to think of something. Okay. Even if it's like name pending. <laughs> and then you just tell me when you think of it. She <clears throat> sniffs Boy, my smell is not exactly what used to be, but Raul always was the headstrong type If you think that I am tough with my training regime and I'm putting you through grilling tasks. He would have been worse. Did I know that it was him that cursed you when you first came?